Hey everybody, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. It is good to see you all again. All right, it is time to tie up this loose end now that Pokemon Legends Arceus is in the history books. So we, oh man, it's been a little while. Last we were at was going into Gobi's Valley, I believe. So let's head on over there. So one thing I did actually discover, I learned this actually pretty re uh, between my Freeze Easy Peak episode and now. Uh, how I used to shoot eggs from the front, of course, when you press X, it shoots it from behind. And the way to fire was to crouch down and press up on the control pad. But as you can see, it takes a gold feather away, as we've noticed, which has been a little frustrating. However, I learned uh, I learned a trick, actually. I learned uh, with the Switch controller, which was a bit uh, tough to figure out. But apparently what you do is if you... So again, if you hold... If you hold both Z, Z, L, and Z, R down at the same time, press X, then it fires forward, which is a huge relief because I was worried about that, especially with the final boss. I was worried that I was going to, like, fire a bunch of eggs and, you know, then lose all my gold feathers and, you know, shoot eggs left, right, and center and not be able to hit the broad side of a barn. So that is a huge relief. Okay. So, oh, excuse me, Mr. Mummy. I'm coming through. So we are going to Gobi's Valley. Yes. This is a really cool stage. I love this stage. Freeze Z Peak and this one are really cool ones. No, oh, Mr. Beat, don't leave me alone. Just gotta get down. All right, we're good. Don't want any those sandy eels to get us. Oh, this music's so good. All right. We got the old tree down, down over here. Oh, yes. What's the matter with you? Yes, Ray. I'm shivering up. How's your nuts bark, Brad Kazooie? Watch your language. Jeez. Yeah, eggs and, yeah, Banjo, I don't think eggs and feathers are going to help. The poor guy needs water, right? Well, just just dip, look how close your roots are. Look at this water right here. Come on, man. God, everyone's so useless in this game. Oh, hey, you just passed your best note score for this world. What, five? Oh, yeah, that's right. I, got, I remember, yeah, I came over here... Uh, I came over here to get the speedy boots for Freezy Peak. Otherwise, I would have had to go back just to get the one jiggy. That's right. Well, I mean, bottles. Jeez, well... It wasn't, there was a lot of room to improve, let's just say. Five is not a tough number to beat. All right, so here's a good test with the eggs. Oh, I got the uh, I got the other nose, what do you know? Oh man, see, if I didn't learn that trick, oh, it would have been a lot more struggling. All right, we're going to, no, leave me alone, Mr. Han. Oh, grab me. Hands to yourself. Okay, we're in here. All right, I know the Jinjo's behind me, but I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the Jiggy first. Oh man, it's so that's so much more better. Oh, makes this whole experience so much easier. Not that I don't like a little bit of challenge. All right, here's our first jiggy. Ooh, went down quickly. Okay, man, this game's so great. I just I just love playing this anytime I can. Okay, so that deals with there. Not doing so badly. Okay, okay, my friend. The one that we may have most trouble with is King Sandy Butt's tomb, just because, you know, you never know. You know, again, because the witch switch is in there, and if I do happen to not make it through, it has been a while, and if I don't make it through, then I'm going to die and have to restart. So I prefer not to do King Sandy Butt's tomb when I'm so close to getting, I'm so close to the end. I mean, I could get all the notes first, I guess. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this music really gives me some Prince of Egypt vibes. It's just like, oh, that film has just aged like fine wine to me. You know, it's it's a good you know it's a good film because there's like tons of people who like claim that they're not religious at all, but yet they'll still back the movie up and saying how it's a masterpiece. That's when you know it's a good film. Okay, so there is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Let's go up there. I remember always being really afraid to do that stage when I was a kid. And for good reason. I mean I was younger. Naive, naive, more naive, and just, uh, yeah, just uh, not very, uh, not as confident in myself as I am these days. Let's get these guys here. And uh, easily down. This is how we go downstairs in Banjo Kazooie. This is the only way. Okay. I gotta focus up here. Ah, uh, what is it? Yes. Uh, sorry, King Sandy, but not. I don't listen to you. I don't listen to rules. Yes. Now, if I recall, I think the witch switch was somewhere on this end over here. Nope, those are eggs. Where are them witch, wi witch switch? Where 
is that witch? I can't remember what that witch switch is. Oh, that's music. Music definitely doesn't help, does it? Okay, relax. Well, obviously, gotta go the mummy's way. Ow. Excuse me, sir. Oh my god, am I actually gonna... Am I actually, holy shoot. Jeez. Wow, I really almost fa almost failed at that. Now, of course, I just I just wanted to complete that first. But I'm gonna go back. Because I think the time's gonna reset now. Yeah, the time resets. So let's get that. We know the way here now. Well, that is the wrong button. Ow. Let's get you out of the way. Yeah, we'll just go back and reset the time. Why not? Oh, oh okay, yeah. There we go. <laughs> just cheating the system. Just just playing with the curse, that's all. Playing the curse of King Sandy Butt. Now, where, where is that switch? Oh, I think I was there. I just didn't pound on it. There we go. Oh. Everything just comes to a standstill, apparently. All right. See, even this, even though I know the way, my music is the music just makes me sweat even now. It's just crazy. I mean, we easily could have figured that out, I suppose. We're not as young as we used to be, but with age comes wisdom. All right, I got the Jinjo. I believe there's a Mumble Skull in there. Was there? A... Oh, another gold feather. Yay! All right. Well, all this treasure we're collecting here. King Sandy Bob played it up so much, you'd think that it'd be something special, but with all these jiggies we're collecting, they're starting to seem like they're very unlimited. All right. That takes care of that. Now, where to next? Oh, I think I'll go to the matching, the matching pyramid. Yeah, this one here. Ah! Okay, land right on the path. Oh! Okay. What epic timing. All right, let's see how well my memory plays here. Let's just get rid of this old fella here. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry. Get all these. Oh, and you. No skull gets left behind. All right, I believe the gin... If I recall, I think the gingos were... Oh, no, that is the egg. That is the egg. That is Mumble. Feather. Feather. Kazooie. Piece. There's the egg. Oh, no, see, there goes my memory. There was I missed it by one. Alright, I think the gingos were right here, actually. Yeah, they're like side by side. The reason I remember is because they're so close to each other. Oh, there's the other hunting home. That was there, right? There we go. There's oh yeah, Mumbo. Is he right above you, maybe by chance? Oh no. There you go. Note. Ah, oh, dang it all. All right, this takes care of that. Now, if I recall, this we may see this state, we may see this very event again soon when we do the big quiz at the end, because although it'll be a lot extra challenging, because they give you less time. I remember one time I did actually try to learn to play this on the piano, and it did not go well because listening to this tune, you could just t you can tell instantly that it's not an easy one to learn. Yes, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, what the heck? What the heck is a? Uh, oh yeah. Got to get through that. Okay, now where to? Let's see. What's close by? Oh, Mr. Gobi. Mr. Gobi! Gobi! Hot? Well, camels, camels love it when it's hot, though. Like, they actually need it to be hot to survive. All right, off you go. Yeah, sure. Go off to cool down in the scorching hot sand. That'll help. All right, there's four. All right, this is how we gotta do this one here. Fix my camera angle up here. 
Okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Why is the time going? This is what you gotta do. You gotta cut corners as you jump up here. Oh, I missed the notes. Sorry. No, t no sense going back. No turn around now. So you gotta cut the corners here like this. That's the way to do it. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Badger just drop it in and everything. Just, oh. All right. Just avoid the mummies. Go straight for the gold. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content here and everything. And if you do, be sure to like and subscribe and share these videos, guys. It is always uh, quite a joy to know the entertainment that we are giving off to people. I hope to keep continue doing this sort of content and helping people out. And uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying it at home. So yeah, please feel free to like and share. This is a uh, this is a treat. It's a it's a gem just to do it. Especially in a game like this, where we get to relive a childhood classic. All right, we might as well go for the hand, go for the jiggy that the big hand is holding down here. So let's go down here. I believe it's I believe it's down here. Yep, yeah. he's down here hanging around. Oh no, I ran that for a thousand years. Well, oh. oh yeah, now we need to get our. Oh, oh, what's the matter, Bad Joe? This is what we're here for. Okay, gotta put the boots on now. You know, I was just thinking something, guys. Um, I love Pokemon, as you guys can tell. I mean, a lot of the games we've been playing so far here have been Pokemon related. Ow! Son of a bitch! <laughs> Anyways, Pokemon, yes. I, uh, I really, I really do enjoy it, as you can tell, from all the games that I've been playing on this channel. But uh, another thing that I've really got it in gotten back into is the Pokemon card collecting. I, I used to do it all the time as a kid with the base sets, jungle boosters, and fossil sets. And I thought about, like, you know, I mean, I know I mostly play games on this channel, but I was curious in doing some, like, you know, card opening packs and everything, because I've been collecting a little bit here lately. And I was just thinking it'd be really cool to, uh, you know, open it on the channel, perhaps. And I don't know, you, I, I don't know, but I don't know what you guys think, but yeah, let me. If you're interested, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of uh, that idea, because I, for one, get like super excited just like when I was a kid when I opened those things, and I would love to share that with you guys if you guys would be up for it. If you're up for it, I'm up for it. So yeah, let me know down below. Share some of the comments of your thoughts about that, whether you think it's a good idea or not, and. Well, whatever you choose, it's going to help the algorithm one way or another. Summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch. Oh, here we go. Straight big shot. Ow. 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 Ow, man. Ow, oh, now. Ow, oh, now. Let's get some notes while we're down here after that horrendous failure. I got my, uh, oh, that's right, I did get the egg cheat, egg, egg trick from Cheeto, didn't I? Yeah, Cheeto the cheat book, not Cheeto the cheetah. As we all know him, as we will probably know him as. Alright, not gonna do it, not gonna cut corners this time. Boy, I'm actually getting kind of low on health, actually. I'm, I, uh, haven't really been getting any honeycomb pieces from anybody. Uh, okay, where'd that last one go? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, this is the final, this is the final one here. Oh, well, that is... No complaining there. I'll beat the witch my own way. You can tell how much more difficult the, the levels do get a bit because, like, by the at this time right now, I would have like completed like the first the first stages like Mumbles Mountain and Treasure Trove Cove. But by this stage is where you notice that it's taken a lot longer to you know get through all the notes and jiggies. Oh, we're so cruel to him in the game. Yeah, lovely water, Trunka feels great. I'm gonna get hard now. I am erect. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, you keep it that way, buddy, all right? You do you. I'm just gonna... Just gonna go back over. I'll be back. I'll be back for you, all right? I'll be back. I'll, you just stay that way. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should get our... Maybe we should get that honeycomb piece, too. Well, hey, not... No, don't walk straight into the sand. That's never a good idea. See so if we can get that honeycomb from that cactus. Hey, Kays, you're on YouTube. What would you? What could you possibly be watching on there? <laughs> well, <laughs> so yeah, I I got killed by the cactus trying to get the honeycomb piece, and I feel really utterly foolish right now. But 
That is just part of how it goes. Killed by a cactus of all things. Only I could do that. Well, okay. I went right through it. Here's the target. Now I gotta get all the way back there. Ow. No! I'm just full of failures today. Dying by cactuses. Can't even hit... Can manage to hit targets but still miss them. Oh, what a day. What a day it is. Well, in my defense, I mean, I went right through it and had to, like, double back. So, I don't know. There, that's how it's supposed to go. There, that's how it's supposed to go. But, of course, nothing ever smooth happens for me. Oh, gr oh great, this guy. Oh, my brother loves this guy. Yes, I know I did. From my death, I know. Everybody knows. You don't have to tell him twice, Bottles. <laughs> now this guy with his voice, my goodness. I don't know. I feel like in games these days, they wouldn't allow you to do that. <laughs> Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No? We're looking for the treasure pot, boy. Very good. I see some up there. It is yours if you can get it. Yes? Oh, boy. Oh, just bounce it. Come on. Okay, we gotta go a bit closer. Alright, we just had to get the right spot. Just get in the right position. Yep, just bend over. That's the right spot. Yeah, that snake is looking at us. Yes, he likes the butt. The snake likes the butt. See, he keeps peeking out there and taking a clear look. Oops. There we go. Ah, a thousand thanks, my friend. Hist up. We'll now help you. Hist that was his name this whole time? Oh, that's always interesting. How does a snake like this fit it down here, by the way? Yes. Who's your little friend, by the way? Oh, look at the little thing. Like a little, like a little anteater. He is like a little anteater. Are you wearing like? Are you wearing any? I don't know why I'm looking. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got, he's got, he's got a little loincloth on at least. He's okay. All right, hissed up. I never, I, I never knew that was his name actually. We have a few we have a few notes to get. I know where to get them, and then oh yeah, I know. I remember where our little uh, notes are. Uh, all right, so up here we're gonna find our second honeycomb piece, along with our the last of our notes, I believe. I think there was is there five up there? Oh yeah. Hey, where's Gobi? I know I died. I know I died, but shouldn't he still be up here? We unlock. Do we have to do we have to release him again? Oh. oh, let's go find that camel. Is he over there? Is he still? Wait, where is he? Wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? I swear, I didn't see him at the start. Oh, what am I doing? Ah, oh, wait for me, carpet. No. Wait, 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 wait. I, I swear, I didn't see him at the start. I would have noticed. Oh, God, oh, God. Or did I not notice him? Am I just... Am I, am I going crazy? I'm going crazy. Gobi's gone. Wow, did I... If he's, if he's not the front, then, like, I think we missed out on the honeycomb piece. Because, yeah, that's where he goes after the after the honeycomb piece. Or after you... After you give him the water. Oh. Did I... Oh, boy. I'm losing it. Oh, everything was happening so smoothly. I already hit you on the back. Oh, Gobi, Gobi. You're making me look bad, Gobi. You make me look more, you look you're making me look more worse than I already am. Yes, your water again. Now hurry up and hurry up and get erect. All this because of a freaking cactus! Cactus made us look bad. He ruined everything. Alright. Let's just go get our go get our flight pad and be done with this. Actually, I don't know if I could just jump into one of the nearby trees though. Oh well. I'm already over here. Alright, there you are. This is where you should have been. Hey! Yes. Spit her out. I don't know why you ate that in the first place. Well, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Jump to your death. Oh, and there we go. Okay, there's our satisfying grace. It means that we should be able to... Should be one more... Should be six more pieces. Yep. World seven, eight, and nine, and then we'll have a full, we'll have the full set of honeycombs. This game is really easy to get all the collectibles, but it still is just so satisfying. Okay, all right, yes. Now we need to fly, and then I want to finish off by just getting the Jinjo right at the right at the entrance, right at the exit there. 
All right, and therefore we have back to back right here. All right, and that concludes Gobi's Valley. All right, Banjo, do your happy dads. Took two tries, but oh well. Yes, dang that cactus. Darn him all. The cactus of all, the cactus ruined everything. Okay. Oh, what is it? It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. Now. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for this video. On next episode, we are going to be heading to Mad Monster Mansion to do the Monster Mash. But until then, guys, I hope you have yourselves a great day. And please remember to, again, like and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you never miss an upload on this new channel. I hope to see you all guys all again soon. In the meantime, I hope you take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now.